Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Tittle Tattle Tarot. It's Georgie. And today is Friday, the 21st of April. And I'm looking at doing a new um, a new little set of readings here. Um, I'm going to pick a day. Um, I don't know whether it will be every week or a couple of times a week, but I'm going to pick a day and look at what happened in past years. So what happened on this day in history? And today, the 21st of April, um, I'm going all the way back to 1934. So before the Second World War, 1934. And um, I'm asking my curious creatures to help me with this one because it is a curious creature and you can't get any more curious than the Loch Ness Monster. So in 1934, there was a gentleman, he was a surgeon and he was called Robert Kenneth Wilson. And he took a photograph of Nessie, of the Loch Ness Monster. And um, he submitted it to uh, the Daily Mail newspaper. And the Daily Mail newspaper believed it to be genuine. And they ran with it. And oh, my goodness. And it's the most famous, the most iconic picture of Nessie um, ever. Um, you know, if you see it, you'll go, oh, yes, you know, that's the old photograph that everybody recognises, taken by the surgeon. So that happened on this day in 1934, this photograph. So I want to pull some energy on this. Who knows, Nessie might exist. <laughs> Nessie might well exist. And maybe this is one of the only photographs that we've got. But let's see what people thought at the time. And let's get the energy around this photograph. Um, as I say, it was published in the Daily Mail and people went crazy. So let's just see. Thank you, Curious Creatures. Anything you can tell me, sweet Curious Creatures, what can you tell me about this wonderful photograph by this surgeon, Robert Kenneth Wilson, and this amazing, iconic photograph of Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. What can you tell me happened all those years ago and today's date, April the 21st, 1934? <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull a few. Let's pull three cards. <laughs> okay it was a lie it was a lie unfortunately you know how wonderful if it had been true but it, it was it was a fixed a fixed photograph it was however they did it an elaborate hoax very very clever at those sort of in, in that day and age to do such a hoax but this king of swords this is your surgeon a surgeon you know how how appropriate that this this um, sword is here the surgeon this is like a, a medical card as well this was his profession the surgeon the cutting person up that way oh yes you trust the surgeon definitely trust the surgeon anything the surgeon says yes that's true now if that was my surgeon and it was up the other way I'd say no <laughs> you're not cutting me you're not coming near me with your sword <laughs> so yes the surgeon card in reverse he was not telling the truth um this was like went out there quickly. Uh, the chariot is fast forward motion. So I would imagine, um, I think he probably knew exactly what he was doing. He went up to Scotland. Um, he set up all his camera. Um, he set it all up. He knew what he was doing. He knew how he was going to um, put this hoax together. And it was very fast. I'm going to do this. He had the day. He had the time. The weather probably needed to be right. If I remember that picture, is quite misty. So he would have had to have got the right kind of time. Um, probably had to do it quite early in the morning. He was very prepared and he did it quickly, executed it quickly. He knew he had a plan. The chariot is very much, you know, you're planned, you're set, you're ready. Send the horses off, send your bicycle off and off you go. And um, I don't know whether he got paid for it. I would imagine if he did. It um, went into the um, Daily Mail newspaper and uh, people were absolutely fascinated. And of course, how wonderful for Scotland. It brought in um, masses of um, tourism into the area. 
whether it was true or not what a wonderful fable what a wonderful wonderful thing um and you know it 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 brought money into the area 1930s or oh, come off it you know a very very poor time for the whole of the united kingdom um scotland would have been suffering as well how wonderful that it brought money in does it matter it wasn't true so uh let's just see if we can get just a little bit more a little bit more let's go right to the heart of the matter this surgeon the loch ness monster what can you tell me what can you tell me let's get right into the middle yeah look it's come out again a lie it was a lie but what's on the other side the devil <laughs> yeah it was devilish i guess you know but really no one was hurt with this devilish little ploy were they um it gave people joy i think and it gave people um gave people a focus and the very sort of grim times in the 30s yeah, it was devilish. Of course it was. But it was that kind of devilish that's um, naughty but nice, I think. I don't see this as cruel. Of course it wasn't. It brought money in. Um, but it was an untruth. I'm going to go right to the bottom of this pack. Let's get right under here. And just go right to the very bottom. Look, Ace of Wands. It was probably a wonderful um, new, fresh start for Scotland, people coming to Scotland, as I said. For this uh, man, you know, he would have um, he, he would have done very well out of this as well. And why not? Why not? He probably made his name. The Daily Mail made money. Um, you know, everybody won. So what? It wasn't true. <laughs> that is today's little glance back. 21st of April. 2023 today we're going back to 21st of april 1934 dear old nessie um yeah wouldn't it be wonderful if nessie did exist it would be absolutely fantastic wouldn't it but you know he, she she he has never been proved not to exist so <laughs> who knows maybe it's lurking there underneath those murky waters um but what a lovely what a lovely tale and who cares if it's not true Catch you again soon. Bye-bye.